my people are not deal. We don't come again. We don't come again. We are not a hard to read. My people have been here the latest. Hmm. Currently, Peter, we don't put fire. Don't put fire for Tinubu Nyash. He don't put the fire spark on like this. They make it a burn and for Tinubu Nyash. As he actually had to file petition against Tinibu's victory not just in nigeria alone or not just in the tribunal court of appeal alone or not just there but also involve international bodies in this petition hmm my people the one away they ground you know easy like you have to hear what is going on in the petition which i'm going so i'm going to show you the petition peter will be filed against Tinibu's victory not just in nigeria alone involved international bodies and the and and the reasons why he filed the petition what he used against him all in this video so he filed petition against Tinubu, against apc and against Einik. Like I'm going to show you all the all the approval uh, and gist that is going on currently is in this one video. Guys, what are you waiting for? If you are seeing me for the first time, thank you for stopping by my channel. If you are not subscriber, you know I love you. Then if you are new here in Abeta Tori, we they talk about gist, trending gist and happenings, political news, celebrity gist. Click on the subscribe button and like this video as well so that others will see this video and appreciate us. So guys, let's move into the main video of today. Hmm. This man is very smart. Like they thought he has given up. They thought with all this frustration, they are trying to frustrate him. He would just give up and withdraw the case. But hmm, our daddy said no. He will not let the people's mandate to go like that. He stood up and said, no, let's move ahead to a bigger level than the level we, we are since you people are trying to play tricks with me. He was actually like saying, what is the difference if we accept this election like this, then what are we going to say to armed robbers who are stealing out there? Because it's actually the same thing, the armed robbers door that happened during the election. Hmm. The Torino be here. He also filed this petition against Tinibu's victory. I did not just use that alone. No. He also used something else like against him. Tinibu is not fit for the position of, of being a president. Why? Because he was once mm, this not to the talk of drug pusher. I've been a baron in the column. Pusher, pusher, pusher. Mm. I will see if they do on so we hear and say so till they don't catch him before for US and US people can already say he's not fit for this position. Now so the matter on them. But make I show now wait till they go on as it take the hearts, make I they read them to you guys one after the other, the petition and lot more. So this is the petition, and he said that the alternative to one and two and three above. So that it may be determined that the second respondent was not duly elected by majority of the lawful votes cast in the election for the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria held on 25th February 2023. And therefore, the declaration and return of the second respondent as the winner of the presidential election are unlawful, unconstitutional and of no effect whatever. That it is determined that based on the valid votes casted at the presidential election of 25th February 2020, the petitioner scored the highest number of votes cast at the election and not less than one quarter of the votes cast at the election in each or at least of two-thirds of all the states in the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory Abuja and ought to be declared and returned in return in the winner at the presidential election and other directing the first respondent to to issue the certificate of return to the first petitioner as the duly elected president of the federal republic of nigeria hmm. that it be determined that the certificate of return wrongly issued to the second respondent by the first respondent is nulled 
and void and be set aside. So our lady don't verse said that he does not accept this. So this is the petition he presented to the court. And not just that, hmm, guys, you have to like see how much he, uh, he paid for this. Hey, let me show you guys something. For article, so refer this to a uh, petition, and he paid 12,430 naira. But Peter will be filed this same petition and paid 5,430 naira. Guys, when I saw this thing, I was like, sure, what really happened in the court? Like, what happened? Why is there. Why is the, the the figure difference? Why is the amount difference? What happened? Like you need to see when corrupt man when no get stain is involved. Like the kukuma knows they don't need to stain their their own self as well. They have to behave. This is what happened, guys. And not just alone. One of the human rights um lawyer activists in Ibege also said something about this. So let me let you see what he said as well. Inibere said this. Peter Obi and Labour Party are seeking to disqualify Bola Tinubu on account of his drug-related forfeiture in the U.S. It's going to be an interesting litigation at the Court of Appeal. The issue has now been made topical. They, they are also facing the issue of 25% vote in the FCT. My people, not just in Ibere alone, no, even the news, the, they even had to share the news on U.S. news. Like, this is to show you that Nigeria, Peter B, have taken Nigeria international. Like, Nigerian courts are facing the international world. Let me show you guys the people that are going to team up for this fight. So, DEA, FBI, and Chicago University are accepted to be involved in this Peter B petition as witnesses. Hmm. Tinubu and his cronies are on fire. My they are on fire. They did not expect this to happen. But this time, it's see man when they talk, eh? Fear him. Because as if they keep quiet, if they re strategize. And when he comes back with his strategy, like you cannot wait for it. This is what uh, Peter Obi has done to Tinubu, like in a way that he did not even expect. I'm imagining how his lawyers are feeling and legal petitioners are feeling right now. Because he hit where they are here right now, he know just easy, he know easy, my people. Hmm, this Nigerian election 2023 now hot cake. Let me know on the comment section what you feel about Peter B's action. Let me know if you are in support of his action. Let me know on the comment section if you are against it. Let me know on the comment section, guys. Like it's not going to be easy, just as in very Fiong said, it will not be easy at all. Like we just Nigerians are ready. Like obedience are ready, the youths are ready. They want this mandate back. They want if you have people have been doing this for all these years for more than decades, you cannot do it this time around. That's what he said. Thank you so much, guys, for watching my video to this point. And please, if you have not clicked on the like button, please do so. And if you are seeing my video for the first time, please don't go without clicking on the subscribe button. I will keep bringing to do trending G's. See you in my next video and bye for now.